Children and young people with special educational needs and disabilities, or SEND, should get the support they need to fulfill their potential and lead happy, healthy adult lives. But we know that children and young people with additional needs are falling behind their peers, and parents face long waiting times to access information and support for their children. This means that families have lost confidence in the current system. That is why, in March 2022, we published the Send and Alternative Provision Green Paper. This set out proposals to provide all children and young people with SEND and in alternative provision with the support they need to thrive. Through the Green Paper consultation, we listen to people from all parts of the system, including children, young people and their families, to understand their views on our proposals. We held 175 events, reaching over 4,500 people alongside an online consultation which received nearly 6,000 responses. We heard that most people agreed with our understanding of the challenges in the system and that the experiences and outcomes of children and young people vary too much around the country. People supported our proposal to develop a national send and alternative provision system with national standards. And they wanted to hear more about how the proposals will work in practice. We heard that the proposals must support a system which is more responsive to children's individual needs and allows families to get the support they need quickly. This feedback is reflected in the Send an Alternative Provision Improvement Plan, which sets out how we intend to take these proposals forward. This includes setting new national Send an Alternative Provision standards to give families confidence in the support available to them, making the education, health and care plan process easier for the children and young people who need one through a standardised approach and better use of technology. Investing in new special schools so more children and young people have timely access to support in their local area. Strengthening accountability so everyone working across education, health and care understands their role and families can find out how their local area is performing. Improving communication with parents so concerns are dealt with quickly through new guidance for local authority send caseworkers and strengthen mediation. Investing in workforces across education, health and care by increasing access to specialists and introducing a new SENCO national professional qualification for schools to make support easier for children and young people to access. As we move forward, we will continue to listen to those who are most affected by our proposals, including children and young people. We will use our £70 million change programme to create regional expert partnerships to help us test and refine these proposals. For more information on how we're working to improve the Send and Alternative Provision System, visit gov.uk.